Hello, hello! Welcome to another episode of History in the Dark. I am your host, Darkness the Curse. And before we begin, as always, thank you so much to my generous patrons, my British rail critics, and of course, my underwater train finders. You are the reason why this content remains... Haunted? Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. And today, we are going to discuss a true ghost story that isn't actually about a real ghost, because ghosts don't exist as far as I'm concerned, but this is actually about a very real ghost story that really genuinely has a logical explanation, but it resulted in a ton of urban legends surrounding the existence of this particular piece of locomotive history. This is the story of Sweden's Silver Pillen, or Silver Arrow, subway car. Let us go back to the most haunted place in the world. I am, of course, talking about Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> Truly a home for the paranormal, the haunted, the cursed, the darkness, the curse! Anyway, so... Stockholm Metro Service. Let's talk about it. What is the Silver Pelin? What is a Silver Arrow? What does this have to do with the ghost? It doesn't even sound that scary. Silver Arrow? I mean, it's, eh, you know, it's not really something you'd call a ghost. But, uh, maybe it's really scary, and it, it kind of is. Haunted train stories are a dime a dozen in folklore. I mean, since the beginning, there have been stories of ghost trains, pretty much. Like, trains that, you know, shouldn't be there, but are. That are on the way to the other side. It is a real train. It really existed. Genuinely so. In 1965, the Stockholm Metro purchased eight unpainted aluminum train cars to add to its fleet. The whole point of these unpainted cars was for testing purposes. They weren't necessarily meant to be used in proper service, just to test them out. So that's why they were so bare. There were some differences between them and the regular green subway cars they were using at the time. For example, the doors slid open on the outside of the train, not the inside, and that allowed for a slightly expanded interior. And the insides were free from the usual ads and decorations that you're probably accustomed to seeing in intercity rail cars. Because they were underutilized, they also had a habit of being a lot dirtier than the regular cars were too. Sometimes they had graffiti and just looked a lot more unused. But they really were pretty much unused. The testing on them well, they found that the public just didn't like them very much. The silver coloring didn't jive with the general populace, and they were laid out in a little bit of a different way. So they stuck with the green ones, but they still had the silver ones around. So why did they start being called Silver Pillin, and why did they start being considered haunted? Well, the name Silver Pillin or Silver Arrow started pretty early on because they were distinctive that way, they were just silver, like that's what they looked like, so people just called them that. The haunted element has a couple of sources, and it has to do with decades upon decades of these cars being used, but only occasionally. The basic legend surrounding the Silver Arrow is that you didn't get taken to any station once you boarded, you just went and went, you were effectively stuck on the train forever. Doomed to travel the rails until the end of time. Swedish ethnologist and urban legend scholar Bengt Af Plintberg actually wrote about it in his 1986 book Rotten e Pizan, The Rat and the Pizza, and he wound up adding some elements to the legend. It is only seen after midnight. It stops only once every year. The passengers in the train seem to be living dead, with expressionless, vacant looks. A very common detail is that a person who just wanted to travel to the next station remains seated for one week in the Silver Pillin. Many girls dared not enter the trains, which they believed could be Silver Pillin. 
The legend became widespread by the 1970s, and the reason seems to be that it was a rarely seen sight and it always looked creepy. Compared to the regular Metro trains, the Silver Arrow was just very dilapidated. Additionally, and this is the biggest issue, it was often used during times of high volume, when they needed an extra train to carry passengers. When it was done being utilized for that purpose, it would simply be taken back to the depot. So people would often spot this train traveling through stations without stopping. That, combined with its relatively creepy appearance, at least to them, helped fuel the legends surrounding it. But to be realistic, it had a perfectly logical explanation. It was just a test vehicle, and the Metro was only using it to fill in when they needed extra rolling stock during times of high volume. That was the only purpose behind it. It was never haunted or anything, but the legend still carried on, and a lot of people even refused to ride on it if they did see it. And it got worse, believe it or not, due to something completely unrelated, but it got associated with it. The Metro wound up expanding in the early 1970s, and they opened a new blue line in 1975. A part of that expansion was known as Kimlidge Station, and it was specifically built to service an area that was slated for economic redevelopment. That redevelopment never happened. As a result, there was limited demand for the station, so it just never opened. But it was still there, and it was basically abandoned, covered with graffiti, dirty, filthy, looking like a haunted station, just like the Silver Arrow looked like a haunted train. Stories and rumors surrounding both the station and the Silver Arrow wound up becoming sort of merged. The station became considered the home of the Silver Pillin, or where the ghost train picks up the dead. The local saying in relation to the station in particular was, Only the dead get off at Kim Lynch. Man, you Stockholmers need to chill out with this haunted story stuff. You were out of control with these urban legends, I'm just gotta say. I'm almost impressed by how deep this went. And even to this day, you still get people who know the legend, even though that particular subway model has long since been out of service. The Silver Arrow was decommissioned by the Metro sometime between 1995 and 1996. The cars wound up split up. Half of one of the cars was apparently sent to the Stockholm Police Academy, where they use it as a train setting to teach cadets how to police crime on the metro. The other car that's known to remain is located at the headquarters of Heglunds, which is actually the Swedish company that built the train in the first place. It was preserved there, and at some point apparently, it had a cafeteria installed inside of it, so I guess they're making some level of fun use out of it, I suppose? But like I said, even now, legends surrounding the Silver Arrow persist though the actual Silver Arrow has not been on the rails since the 90s. But perhaps somewhere out there, there exists a different Silver Arrow. The ghost of the Silver Arrow, if you will, riding the rails with the passengers long since deceased, waiting to return them to the underworld. Actually, it's probably just a myth made up for funsies because spooky trains are fun, I guess. I, I can almost guarantee that that's actually what it is. There probably aren't any ghosts on the Stockholm Metro system. I say probably because I could be wrong. I may not believe in ghosts, but I will entertain the notion that I am wrong about that. I'm just saying. And with that, a special thank you to all my underwater train finders. Thomas Ward, Lord Captain Von Thrust III, Some Dude 267, Orange Glass, Joshua Long, Ohio Trucker 1, Royal Hudson 2860, Lord Hoth 444, Arthur Roy, Benjamin Owens, Panzer Kitson 131-232, Mr. Black Rose, DM Tribal Typhoon, Master of None, Josh Johnson, Lock Kraken, Twin Fox, Dimeblade 17, Anzac A1, Alaric, Jaspers, Rami Rossini, Jack Carson's Railroad Videos, and Ty Hammonds Jr. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.